Thank you. This, is, this has been good discussion, some good debate uh, going on. Um, we, there's been a little bit of discussion on the efficiency side. Uh, uh, I think you pointed out in your monologue there, or <laughs> soliloquy, or whatever it was. It was in there somewhere. It was in there somewhere. Um, but, but the focus that uh, what we do not spend um, is, is, in fact, probably our, our wisest uh, energy source here. Um, this is not a budget hearing, but we've been in the midst of, of budget hearings. I'm on the Appropes Committee, and, and um, so we've been looking critically at those parts of the budget, whether it's in DOE or other parts, uh, where I think we can be making a difference when it comes to our missions. And so when I see uh, programs such as the Weatherization Assistance Program um, being, being zeroed out, uh, it, it just causes me to, to um, uh, th I guess there's a level of frustration there because it is, it's seemingly the easy things, and maybe it's because we think we don't need to be doing the easy things anymore. We talk a lot around here about uh, let's go after the low-hanging low fruit, and I think sometimes we think that if it's too small, we're not making a difference. We haven't addressed the, the urgency of now that you all speak to. Can, can, you, can you share with us your observations um, in this regard that doing a little bit every day, maybe this incremental, I think you, you, you said, um, Ms. Ladislaw, moderate climate policy need not be mediocre, which I think is, is well said. Um, but we're, we're kind of dealing with the, the, the rhetoric around here. We've got a, a Green New Deal that is out there that is going to be everything to everybody. We're going to be 100% renewable in, in a couple decades. It makes it all sound so easy. And then people come to us and say, well, why haven't you, why haven't you made it happen? So some of this is about managing expectations. Um, well, at the same time, we're pushing ourselves on a daily basis. But can, can we have a couple minutes just discussion about why it's also important not to overlook the smaller, more incremental things that clearly are making a difference there? And I, I throw it out to, to any of you. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and start. I, I love energy efficiency because it is such a cost-effective, common sense. You know, it's what I tell my daughter, right? Shut the light off when you leave it's the room. It's what everybody can contribute. Absolutely. But here's the, here's, the, here's the business model challenge that my company faces when we try to drive energy efficiency spend. Because we go in and we are competing with the utility monopoly. And they don't want to give us access to the meters. They don't want to give us access to the customers. We can't do on-bill financing of energy efficiency improvements. These problems actually have been solved in one state, which is Texas, where they actually have really restricted the utility to being, um, the, the monopoly utility to being a poles and wires company. And the rest of us are out there in the market doing really crazy, fun, interesting energy efficiency, retail demand response products. We actually compete <laughs> with our other competitive suppliers on who has the best rate for retail demand response, you know, where we send out a text message and if you reduce your electricity over the next hour, you get paid. I mean, these are the kind of innovative products, but really outside of Texas, our ability to compete to provide those products and take them to consumers and market to consumers is either restricted or entirely non-existent. Senator, my, oh, my favorite energy efficiency investment are white roofs. Cool roofs, they are so simple and, in, and, and so cheap and so low tech, but in warm climates, simply painting your, white, your, your roof white will save a lot in terms of air conditioning loads. Some places do it, some places don't. Um, there are lots of other examples of that type of investment that we can make. And how about black, how about black roofs in real cold areas? Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't know if that helps, Senator. Uh, uh, well, I, I do know that but, it has impact I just on the wind turbines, the, 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 the color that you paint the blade to keep them from icing, it's, it's, it's darker blades. It's just a great example of the type of simple changes that we can make. And, and you know, I think we also need to be doing, uh, leading R&D on, on things like uh, carbon fiber materials that are very lightweight that can be used in vehicles to save energy. I mean, there's lots of high-tech research that you need, but also just some very simple things we can do and government policies can help to push those out into the marketplace. 
Ms. Ladislaw? So uh, just very quickly on the psychology of the issue, right? Um, we're not going to be done with this climate problem, right? So the idea that we do a thing and then it's solved, we're behind. And the volume and the magnitude of the Green New Deal isn't wrong. We're just that behind. But, but we need to do like an improv class approach, right? A lot less of the no but and a lot more of the yes and because we just have to build momentum. That's really key to a lot of these solutions. So on energy efficiency, I, it, it really it does make a lot of sense. It is one of those areas where a price on carbon may not, it doesn't make that much of a difference. And, and, you know, when we had the government shutdown, right, we really learned how very close the American public lives to not having enough money to pay their bills. Mm -hmm. Even if efficiency makes sense, they don't have the cash to do it. So if we're going to make sort of, you know, progress on some of those issues, we, we need to have this consistent, let's learn from what has worked, let's learn from what hasn't worked, and let's keep going and sort of keep revisiting these things. Because if we're going to re-engineer the entire economy to be net zero if we're going to tackle the carbon management side of this problem. And that's not resilience. So yes, and keep doing stuff that's working, revisit it on a regular basis. The small stuff really does add up. 